Welcome back, survivors. Today, we are doing a $200 mystery box from you know who, Fox Airsoft. As you can see by the box, we definitely have a rifle today. Very excited, very excited. For the first time since I started videoing, doing my videos, I actually know what's in this. And when I pull her out, you are going to love it promise all right pinky now if you guys have never heard of fox airsoft before i strongly urge you to get over to their website at foxairsoft.com just you know give them a look check them out see what they offer they have some of the greatest gear and even and even the greatest best competition shooters rifles and uh, sidearms available on the market today okay now, as you know, this is a $200 box. They also offer several more to fit everybody's price range. They have a $25 accessory box. There's a $50 and $100, a $200, which of course this is, and even a whopping $500 mystery box. So with Christmas coming up, once you see what's in this box, you are, I know it, you're gonna buy one for either a loved one or a friend. This, this, this is, this is great. <laughs> All right guys, so let's go ahead and uh, grab my knife and cut into this. Alright. Now obviously I'm not gonna tell you what this rifle is just yet but just as a small little spoiler <laughs> I will tell you that it does come standard with an ECS system okay if you don't know what that is that is an electric control system now, if you don't know I'm not defining it just yet all right so First up in the box, we have the Elite Force Death Rag, Kill Rag, excuse me, for $11.99. So these come with a single strap in the back to attach to any Molly gear. All right, and then we have the pull tab here with their logo. So whenever you get shot, you just pull this tab, get it off the Velcro and pop it out so this way you know whether you have it you know strapped to your vest or you know you just free so you can stick it on your head and let people know this way you are not going to keep getting shot as you walk back to of course your respawn so these are really great uh, i actually currently use an elite force one that i received from fox airsoft a long time ago so what I'm gonna do, since I've already got one, is when I do my next giveaway at 700 subscribers, now we're almost there, so make sure you get your friends to subscribe and hopefully you can win. I will be giving this out in the next giveaway box when we reach 700 subscribers. Okay. Now, next up, there we go. We have a Lancer Tactical Keychain, Carabiner Keychain to be exact, MSRP of $3. What I like about these is they do have the spin lock here. So open it up and then of course, you know, once you got it down, screw it on. Don't have to worry about anything coming off. These are great because of course you can use it just as a you know, standard keychain or if you have something on your vest or something you like to attach. You know, it's perfect. So, again, Lancer Tactical Carabiner Keychain, MSRP of $3. All right. Next up, a Fox Airsoft patch. There we go. It's good. Stitching is actually really clean on this. 
I like it. I really do. As I said, it's very clean, very well made. The, uh, the Velcro on the back is definitely nice and strong. Now, I've got an event that I'm going to this weekend, which I will be taking some videos and pictures of. So I will be sporting this on my vest. Have my word. All right. Now, these are priceless. These don't have prices on them. There's no MSRP. These are just... They're priceless. Next up, the AMP Core right side drop leg holster with an MSRP of 20 bucks. Now I've honestly never heard of these guys before. What do they got to say? It says fits most standard and compact frames, pistols. Uh, manual adjustments and tensioning, adjustable drop leg, of course, to adjust up and down wherever you wish to have it resting on your thigh, and an accessory pouch for, uh, you know, for your extra mag or what have you. So there we go. So I've never heard of these guys, so let's see what their quality is like. All right, so first part, as you can see, this is our uh, belt piece. Stick this around your belt. Pretty simple. Now, and obviously the big buckle up top, what joins the two together. All right, now we have these two really nice elastic bands these are what wrap around your thigh to hold it in position and as the instruction says it is fully adjustable which are really nice and then, and then on the back we have a really big piece of velcro to fully adjust it however far you wish so we can definitely get that nice and snug wherever you're, wherever you find that happy spot on your thigh, you know? Moving on, we have two locking systems. You guys can see that. So the first one we have is a buckle or clasp, you know, uh, however you wish to say it. And also a Velcro piece. I just, so you can push this aside and then just use the Velcro to you know, keep in your sidearm. So that's really nice. Uh, the one I currently run is set up to pretty much the same way. I like the buckled just because you know that it's gonna be secure. And you know, you know when you pull it out, it's, to me it's just a little easier popping the buckle than using the Velcro. But again, that's just me. Now for the holster itself, this is actually pretty nice. Like, I mean, it's pretty nice, you guys. I mean, this is solid. This is got a good thickness to it. And I mean, stitchings look good. There's no frays or, you know, you can't really see any zigzags in the stitching. So it's always a plus, right? I mean, I definitely say this is, uh, this is a pretty good holster, guys. And for 20 bucks, it's a good price. Then on the front, obviously, on the front we have our spare mag pouch, or you can stick in, you know, extra CO2 cartridges, Allen keys, you know, just whatever. So uh, now I can't use this personally. Um, I am a lefty, so what I will do to be able to give you a, an actual in-use or in-game review, as I said before, I do have an event this weekend, and I will give this to one of my partners to try out, and then before we leave, uh, we will go ahead and make a small video and let you know how it performed, you know, how well it fit, how, you know, all that, all the good jazz stuff, right? So. Again, this is the, what is it? The AMP Core right side holster for 20 bucks. It feels really nice. All right.
Now, moving on. Also from AMP, 5,000 count 20 gram BBs for only 15 bucks. It's a good price. 5,000 BBs, that's, that's a really good price. So now let's read. Now it does not say that they are bio, but that's okay. You know, not all courses require them. And especially if you're indoors, then, you know, that's not really an issue. So got a slogan here. The time has come to elevate your game, which you should be doing. You should always be doing. Because if you don't fight the best, you can never get better and you can never be the best. So always strive to elevate. Nice, nice bag of BBs. And, uh, since we know there's a rifle in here and in my previous video, I didn't have any 20s. Now when we get outside and do our shooting test for this rifle, we'll be able to light it up. Excellent. And that is it for all the extras. Now, what everybody's been waiting for. Oh, come on. Our rifle by Classic Army. All right. So. Here we go. Ooh, it's beautiful. Here we go, our manual as well as typical hazard warning, which I don't think anybody's really gonna be shooting himself in the eye, so. See, we have a standard charger comes with the box. Now, if I were you, honestly, I don't like standard chargers. I don't know anybody in Airsoft that would recommend using them. So I will stick a link down below uh, so where you can find a smart charger. Now, smart chargers are better because they have a light. So you know when it's done charging and it cuts itself off so that you don't have to worry about overcharging and destroying your batteries. So, nice, but not needed. What else? We have some standard, not standard, but we have a small pack of 25 gram BBs. Now again, I don't know anybody that would recommend, you know, that as well as these. And we just got this amazing 5,000 count BBs from AMP, so we don't need that either. Moving on, we have a standard battery, nunchuck or butterfly batteries, however you know, you're used to calling them. And these are, yep, standard 9.6. So these are good, always good to have extra batteries. Personally, when I go to the field, I always bring like three or four. That way throughout the day, I can always just, you know, switch it halfway and know that I always have, you know, full battery or, you know, you got some guys that only rock one, they die. You can always, you know, help out your teammates. So next we have High Cap Magazine. Uh, when I read about it, it said 300. So there's your Little trap door, if you guys have never loaded one before, we had a trap door. What you do is you just fill in all your BBs in here. And then at the bottom, we have a, a nice little uh, crank wheel. And what that does is it takes the BBs from the reservoir and brings them up here uh, to this little hole, which is what actually feeds it into the rifle. Never have too many mags. Then we also have, looks like two, two inch rail segments. There you go. Now, these are always good. If you have, you know, whether it be a vertical 
ooh, excuse me, vertical or angled grip, a flashlight, laser, you know, whatever it is you wish to customize your rifle with, these are good and it allows you to do just that. Now, for what you guys are really been waiting for, this is the Classic Army M4 ML12 ECS Skirmish Series 2nd Gen Rifle. Mouthful, right? <laughs> now, externally, as you can see, we do have standard fully adjustable iron sights. There is a telescoping buttstock, which offers a QD sling mount here on the back. We also have a standard sling mount on the back here, right under the, the castle nut. All right. We also have a 12 inch key mod style front rail. And the body of this is actually made from a nylon fiber. Now, that's the first time I've ever heard of nylon fiber. It's usually always metal or polymer, but this is, this is great, very lightweight. I mean, it's a skirmish, so obviously it's good for indoors, which is why they sent us the non-bios. But lightweight, but doesn't, doesn't rattle, doesn't, I mean, it's, it's solid, you know? So I like this. See, charging handle. Charging handle is, of course, functional, which allows us to access our hop-up. Hey, that's actually pretty cool, too. I know you can't see it, but when you pull the charging handle to access the hop up, it's a turnstile hop up, but it's actually numbered. I think that's actually pretty cool. Like, I've never had any that were numbered. So I guess when you're trying to dial in and everything, you can keep track of where it's at. Pretty cool, pretty cool. The, uh, the grip here, actually really comfortable too. It's, uh, it's really nice and smooth. It offers this really nice grain texture as well. And it also has this bump out here to go between your middle and back two fingers. It just adds, you know, extra comfortability, which a lot of other guns don't always offer. And we also have a flat trigger here. When I'm told, because I don't have one, flat triggers are supposed to be uh, better on the quick, or excuse me, better on uh, quick pulls. So obviously you can send more rounds quicker, you know, while still on semi-fire, you know, not full auto. So that's really nice. Now, the inside, inside of this. This rifle comes stock with an eight millimeter reinforced V2 gearbox. Very nice. It also offers a quick spring system for easy changeability and a 6.03 type bore barrel, pushing out between 340 and 360 FPS with your standard, standard 0.2 gram BBs. Now I wanna to talk to you guys about the trigger system. So again, as we already saw that it is a flat trigger, allowing for quicker and easier pull, but it has the ECS, which we've previously mentioned, the electronic control system. What this system does is it allows us to take our standard semi-fire and full auto modes and program two more. So we have the two standards. We also able to program this for a three and five round burst, I think is really cool. Uh, you know, I ever get out there with it when we do the video, I will go ahead and show you guys how to, how to program it um, and do all that stuff. So that'll be in the next video. But this is great. All of this for only $200. You can't go wrong with you know, Christmas right around the corner and uh, at the end of the month, I know somebody, I know one of you guys out there has somebody who's into airsoft. And if you add all this stuff up, you're looking at 135. So you pay, excuse me, 235 
So you pay two, you get 235. That's, that's a good deal to me, you know? So, uh, so that's it guys. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe down below and hit that little bell icon. Let me know what you guys think of the video as well as the items in here today. And I will be doing a second video, the review of the ML12. Uh, we'll get to that in a few days. So until I see you guys again, keep surviving and I'll see you in a few days.